Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's Monday, June 27th. Uh, looks like we got more liquidation around the uh, commodity sectors here this morning. The uh, grain markets under pressure overnight, anywhere from 5 to 10 lower uh, throughout the uh, corn, soybeans, and wheat complex. The option expiration uh, on Friday, uh, which were exercised actually on Saturday, uh, came off with uh, not much adjustment. There were more puts than calls exercised in the July contract of the 670 uh, strike. Also in the soybeans, we had more puts exercised, 2,580 puts actually, uh, in the 1320 strike. And uh, the uh, wheat was uh, relatively quiet. So uh, not much excitement there. We'll see how the uh, open interest uh, adjust here this morning when the uh, CME releases the actual numbers. The hogs and pigs report also came out uh, Friday afternoon. Trade was watching that to uh, get an idea on what pork producers are doing with the high corn prices if they increased or, or decreased herd size and it shows that they uh, had a little better attitude, only a one tenth of a percent or two tenths of a percent increase over what the trade average was expecting. So not a big deal there. A uh, little bit supportive, I guess you could say, to corn as uh, we've got a few more hogs to uh, grow out a little more consumption. But overall for the livestock sector, uh, it was a bearish report, uh, slightly bearish, uh, nothing uh, too dramatic. We've seen a lot of spread adjustment on Friday. We could see some more of that here today in the uh, pork complex. We did have some comments on Friday from a North Dakota ag lender who uh, said that he expects only 50% of the planted acres to be planted, in, or tillable acres to be planted this year in a 17 county region that uh, he services up around the Minot, North Dakota area. So uh, uh, that number uh, in as we go into the USDA planted acreage number on Thursday, uh, we continue to get information of uh, lack of planting. And you got to remember on the March report, the USDA was getting a lot of corn acres out of that uh, North Dakota, South Dakota area. So uh, still remains to be a very exciting and uh, potentially uh, market-moving report on Thursday morning at 730 Commitment of traders uh, released on Friday afternoon by the CFTC showed the managed money is leaving the commodity markets. Uh, long positions still are fairly large in corn, 276,000 plus uh, long net long positions in the corn, but that was down like 60,000 contracts. The uh, soybeans also uh, showed a a decline in long positions. They're still net long about 80,000 contracts. However, in the wheat, it, last week, the uh, managed money sector of the uh, the funds sold around 16 to 20,000 contracts of wheat, which puts them into a net short position in wheat right now. So uh, it looks like they're, uh, you know, we had been concerned about it. We mentioned it. And, and looking at the uh, Allendale uh, research center where we have the following uh, chart showing the uh, commitment of traders and the positions of funds that they uh, changed their mind here uh, several weeks ago where they started liquidating and that's uh, something that is very difficult to uh, stop uh, this uh, falling knife so to speak uh, even though we got fundamentals that are strong uh, we need uh, overall enthusiasm to continue smart go market going higher, and yet <clears throat> with the uh, the major sector, the funds uh, in a liquidating mode uh, is uh, pressuring the market, and we could see more of that. The, today we've got to watch for the the uh, export sales coming out here at eight o'clock uh, by the USDA. Are they did China? Uh, by uh, corn last week. That's uh, still an important number and an important fact that we're watching. The other thing is the open interest. We've got first notice day coming up for uh, the July contracts, especially corn that's carrying a huge open interest yet. The uh, trade needs to get in line and reduce these open this size in this open interest before the first notice day on 
uh, Thursday morning. So uh, watch that very closely and watch that on a daily basis as we uh, go into that time frame. Uh, traders are looking for some hope here uh, coming out of this uh, USDA report on Thursday with the planted acres. They're uh, expecting that we could see a reduced uh, number of corn planted acres and soybean acres because of floods and um, the uh, wet conditions in the eastern Corn Belt as well as up in that uh, northwest area in uh, the Dakota. So that uh, is going to be monitored and watched very closely. The uh, livestock <coughs> feedlot are in, in the livestock trade. Cattle feedlots were able to uh, hold out and get what they wanted this week. Uh, packers had to come out and pay late on late last week, 112, which uh, tightens up their margins considerably. Uh, cutout values were slightly lower on Friday. Choice down 27. Select actually 22 cents higher. We expect that uh, we could see some fill-in buying for the holiday uh, here today, maybe tomorrow. But uh, that buying, well, when that buying subsides, uh, we could see some pressure as we go into uh, the so-called dog days of summer here uh, into July and. Uh, it will be a few weeks before we can find some uh, enthusiasm back in that buying, unless we can keep these exports going. Well, last week we seen the uh, export numbers for beef show 57% higher than a year ago. Uh, some very strong numbers there, uh, and export business is uh, a key to holding hogs and uh, cattle prices higher here in the U.S. Pork cutout was uh, down 21 cents. The main thing there is the hogs and pigs report a bit bearish to the uh, pork complex. Uh, more so uh, spreaders uh, will be watching that closely as the nearby contracts are carrying quite a bit of premium to the deferred. So maintain your uh, in touch with uh, Allendale Research. Uh, we'd like to help you out and answer any questions that you might have. You can reach us at 800-262-7538. We wish you a very successful trading day. We'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you.